What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be breaking down that paper rip effect you just saw at the start of this video entirely inside of Premiere Pro only. This is an insane way to grab your viewers attention plus make your videos stand out. To start things off, you're gonna need 15 photos, 15 magazine rips. These are the ones that I'll be using. You can find these magazine slash paper rips by Googling up exactly that. Magazine rips, paper rips, PNG. That's what I've done over the past couple years. Or you're more than welcome to shoot me a DM on Instagram at TylerAUA and I'll make sure to send you a folder of the highest quality magazine rips I've collected over the past couple years. With that being said, let's jump into Premiere Pro and check out the timeline so we can see all the moving parts involved with this effect. Now before I create this effect from scratch, I wanna make sure that we have a solid understanding of how it works. On the timeline, we can see 15 photo layers, the pink layers, and 15 green layers. These are the magazine rips. We simply add a photo, the pink right here that I just selected. We add a magazine rip, the green layer right here. And then we just repeat this process every couple frames, making sure that we vary the frames. That's a super basic understanding of the effect. However, if you want to make it fancy, you need to mix both horizontal and vertical videos together. Then all you got to do is play around with the placement, shape, and size of the photos and magazine rips, and you'll get something like I created. I'm like you can see that I played around with the rotation, the scale, the position. If we return those all to normal, you can see what they were originally at and how it affects the photo. Here's an example for a couple other photos. If we look at the transform tools and or if we just select them, we can see how they all play a part. Some are rotated, some are horizontal, some are vertical. They overlap each other. That's the basic idea. Now that we have a solid understanding of how the effect works, let's build it from the ground up together. First, create a folder with the photos and the rips that you'd like to use throughout the video. I created mine here. 15 photos, 15 rips, and then a couple other assets I'd like to use, like these 4K grain overlays and this film burn effect that I found online as well. I basically found these on YouTube over the years. Sweet, so I found the first photo that I'm gonna use here. Now let's try to find a vertical photo to stack on top of this. When we open this photo up, we can see it takes up the whole screen. So let's move that over. I'm going to pick the left side, zoom that in a little more, and I like how that looks. What we can do now is go into our rips folder. I'm gonna pick Tyler AUA3, and we want to start this all the way at the beginning as well, just because we're creating that basis of the transition now. Let's go and rotate this one, and then we can move the rip over, and rotate the rip as well. Now we got something like that. I'm liking how that looks for the start of this. I recommend labeling the layers. I labeled this one green. This is gonna make it easier to differentiate the photos from the magazine rips as we begin stacking them and moving them around to make the transition perfect. What we can do now is skip five frames, one, two, three, four, five, and we can introduce the next photo, the pink layer. So let's open up our photos and find one that we like. I'm going to run with this photo right here. We're gonna add a little crop and rotation to this one. We can also zoom it in big time and then mess around with this time it only being my face. What we're gonna wanna do now is go back to the rips, find another one. Let's go with six this time. Let's label it green so that we can identify it as a magazine rip. Change the size, rotate it so it matches the orientation of the photo here move it over, match it up with the photo. We'll move over a couple more frames. Let's do three this time, introduce another photo. What we can do now is skip, let's say three frames, create a little variation throughout the effect. Another photo, we're gonna leave it pink. Let's throw this photo in the middle, do something a little different, make sure we don't see the edges and add some magazine rips on both sides so that you can still see a little bit of all the images and you can see how the effect is gonna stack. Move it to the side of the photo. Then we need to grab one more. This is why we're gonna label them because normally right now what I would be doing is another pink layer of a photo. So let's make sure we label this magazine rip as well. Let's add a horizontal flip, make it go to the other side but you can see the premise of the effects. It goes pretty quick too for the amount of work that you got to put into it. Let's switch it up and we'll go, let's do four frames. Let's put this along the bottom so that we can still see the above image. We want to try to avoid corners like this throughout because that'll just not sell the effect that it's like a collage. 
since it looks like it's not working, we're going to add a little crop to this guy and see what happens if we take off a little of the top. Again, now we can grab a magazine rip. We're going to label it, get into the habit of good organization. I always preach that throughout my videos. This is what it looks like when I first import the magazine rip. So we're going to scale that down, make sure it lines up. Okay, with the addition of that, let's see how we're looking. I like how that looks. Let's find another photo to add. I want to do, I want to add like two at the same time for this one. If your computer's struggling to handle these photos, I can tell you why. Photos are about like 8K in resolution. And usually the video that most people like me are filming are around 1080 and 4K. So that's more than eight times and or four times the resolution that we're currently working with. So obviously Premiere and or your computer is having some trouble with the files. But a quick tip that I can give you is if you go into project settings, file project settings, you go into general it's it'll usually be on mercury playback engine gpu acceleration switch it to software only for some reason it's easier to handle the photos for this what i'm going to do is add a little mask you can see it took away the top part which is what we want i'm just going to invert it and then we got a cool half and half split there now that you've seen how I import, label all the photos, the magazine rips, and kind of mess around with the transform, size, and rotation tools, I'm just gonna speed up this process and hopefully you guys will be able to continue following along. What's good, what's good? Post editing Tyler here. Recording on the iPhone voice memos. A little bit of a complicated setup back home right now, but gonna kind of give you the scoop of what's going on here. Grabbing another photo, place the one previously. Not like I haven't said it before, but placing that magazine rip on top, making sure it's green, you know, organization. Move it over a couple frames. Looks like I threw a crop guy on here so we can make sure it fit. Scaled around the positioning and the scale of the magazine rip. I'm gonna grab another photo here. Took this on a iPhone one night out with my girlfriend and um, yeah, it's gonna move that over. These are all like a culmination of pictures on iPhone and camera, so you can do a little bit of both. Looks like I'm deciding to move this over to the right hand side since we just added one to the left hand side. Cut along a little bit further into the video just cause we're kind of going with the same pref uh, premise. Looks like I got confused with the <laughs> other magazine rib. But yeah, pretty much um, rinse and repeat from this point on. This one we messed around with the rotation a lot. I'm really happy with how that one turned out. Even though it passed by super quick, definitely makes a difference from all the other ones being straight. And this is where I begin to wrap it up. I imported that last photo with everybody with their hands up. So I'm gonna grab this magazine rip, put it on the left-hand side. And since it's like a filming with concert, that's kind of what I do. On the right-hand side, I'll take one of my favorite photos, throw a crop guy on there. And yeah, um, that kind of masks it. All right, I've got a couple layers done. I'm gonna let that render out and let's check out how it looks. That's exactly what we're looking like from the intro of this video and the one I'm going to play now. The only difference is I added, I added a strobe, I added 8 mil film grain, so let's just copy all of this over. And if you notice, I left out one thing and that is the sound design along the bottom. You can hear a riser, you can hear a bass drop, which is right here. And then lastly, you'll hear some photo clicks throughout, which is this right here. So if we mute all of the sound, this is what it would sound like. Riser, bass drop, yelling, woo, screaming, yeah. Kind of all just plays into the effect of like, whoa, this looks sick. Um, so sound design is super important. I've scavenged all of these sounds off of freesound.org, Epidemic Sound, YouTube, and yeah, kind of just get creative with it. 
And then the last thing that I'll mention is I like to add an adjustment layer right here. I make this adjustment layer about four frames long. And then what I'll do is I'll go into effects and I'll find one of my favorites, WGFX Offset 1. I found it online somewhere. I'll throw this at the start and I'll throw it at the end which looks about to be here and it just makes like a motion blur transition. While we let all the new assets that we just added in, the sound design, the photo clicks, the risers, the bass drop, the 8mm film grain, the film burns and the 4K dust overlays, while we let all those assets load I want to talk to you guys about how I started this effect. By the time I conclude this video, it'll be ready and I can show you guys what it looks like with all of the assets combined. And hopefully you guys got something similar to what I created. So let's conclude the video and show the timeline of how I created this effect. Originally, I started this a complete different iteration of this effect about three, four years ago because I wanted to bring something new to the table into the nightlife club event recap scene. I still don't have a name for party montage, event recap, nightclub event recap, nightclub video edit. I don't know what to call it yet, so if you guys have an idea and you wanna leave that down in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, I say all that to say, these videos that I was watching and trying to learn about were super stale and incredibly boring. How, how are you supposed to make a club look fun when all of them look the same and there's nothing to grab the viewer's attention? That's where I jumped in and decided to every five to 10 seconds throughout a video, I wanna throw in something new, something out of the ordinary to keep your interest and to make the video look out of this world compared to the rest. I started off this entire photo video journey taking photos and I always thought it would be an interesting idea to include photos inside of a video. So including them together is something I never had really seen someone do. So I took it upon myself to create a kind of way to implement this. But let me tell you something, four years ago it did not look like this. Let me show you what it looked like at the start. That was a video I filmed back in 2019, about four years ago. It's definitely gotten way better since then, but you can see the idea that I was going for. Now that I've shown you the step-by-step -step process, I'm hoping that you guys can find your own unique way to throw it inside of your videos. With perfect timing, the video is done rendering, so let's check it out in its entirety. Here are all the 30 layers, as well as the sound design, the assets on the top. So let's play it out and see what it looks like. And yeah, obviously there, just like in mine, you can add your own part. But yeah, I think they honestly both look really, really good. With that being said, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.